Let's follow the ducks. They seem to know where they're going. Feels a little bit creepy feeling along the bottom. It's a nice time of the day for a swim, but what I'm actually doing is looking for a certain species of snake that lives in the water around this area. So I'll feel around a bit more and let's see what we can find or see what can find me. This is what we've been looking for and I've been feeling around with my feet because he's got really coarse skin. That's why he's called a file snake. But here in Thailand they call him an elephant trunk snake because the species found here can actually grow to 2.9 meters, nearly 3 meters in length. There's another species of them which is found all the way down, right down to Australia also called a file snake, but he only grows to about a meter in length. Now these big females, once they get large enough, they can actually have up to 40 young at a time. He's got really coarse, coarse scales, very much like a file. He doesn't have lateral scales on the bottom. And what he does is he grabs his fish and he wraps around them and these coarse scales help him to hang on to them. Also frogs and other slippery aquatic animals. You can see his forked tongue there is coming out. It's quite long the forked tongue of this snake and he'll use that underneath the water also. He'll use that, he can taste the particles in the water, he can taste where the fish are. There we go. And now if you have a look at his eyes there, you can see his eyes. Whoop, I'll get his head to stay still. His, his head's very flat and the eyes are close to the top of his head. So he can just stick the, his nostrils and his eyes out of the water. Now this snake can stay in the water for long periods of time while he's hunting. Wow, amazing snake. Hey, bye bye, see ya. Thanks for watching. Let's help protect, look after, and promote Mother Nature together. Don't forget to tune in next week so you can join us on our next adventure and see you next time.